Hey guys, it's me, and I'm finally getting to repainting the Mari Takahashi doll. I kind of procrastinated on this a little bit just because I knew that it would take a while and I needed to get the paints and I had to make sure I had the right paint brushes, but today it is finally happening. We are repainting the Mari Takahashi doll as well as repainting my own doll in my own likeness. So I'm just going to go through some of the little tips that I learned along the way. So what I'm doing right now is trying to get into the little crevices of Mari's lips and I'm taking the end of a Q-tip. I hate touching cotton. So I was trying to pick it off as much as I could using the end of a toothpick to try and get into the little crevices to get all of the paint. I still didn't get quite all of it, but I got most of it, like a good 99% of it. So I was overall happy with that. So if you need to get into little crevices, I recommend toothpick and cotton of some sort, whether it's from a Q-tip. And now I'm just mixing the lip paint. I used a balance of brown red, pink, and white, and then I also mixed the paint with a Mod Podge. It took me a couple of attempts to get a right color. As you can see, I'm wiping it off with some water, and it took me about maybe two or three times before I finally got a color that I liked, and it was a little bit thick, so I thinned it out with some water in the very end, and of course made sure to add the Mod Podge so that it seals it and gives it a little bit of a gloss finish. So here I'm just trying to get a better angle on the doll so that I can make sure I get all of the parts that I need to for repainting the lips and the eyes and the eyebrows and all of that good stuff. So just again making sure that I have everything nice and neat. So and I definitely recommend that for if you can't get the right angle on it just feel free to move it around if it helps you then it's fine. Oh god, painting the eyebrows. I kind of wish I had a reference photo for this because I ended up making them a bit dark. So it kind of looks like she had filled in her brows as opposed to just leaving them natural, which is what I was trying to do. I would probably have just removed the eyebrows completely and just painted them on myself just to make sure I had the right shape. But of course, I'm not that smart, so I didn't do that. I just painted over the lines I already had which was a lot easier for me than probably having to go back and paint them all completely. So I believe at this point I'm starting the actual eye repaint, like changing her eyes. The, the doll's eyes were already kind of a brown color, but I wanted them to be a little bit darker than they are on the doll. And again, I just followed the lines that were already there, which I probably should have done with the lips too, but whatever works for you works for you. And here is the finished Mari doll! Yay! Now we're going on to my doll, which is a little bit less invasive as far as like how much I'm doing because the makeup was already stuff that I would wear. I was just repainting the eyes to be blue instead of the kind of amber color that they were and adding a little beauty mark as well as removing the freckles. For removing paint, I highly recommend a 100% acetone nail polish remover because I didn't use that and it didn't really work that well. They smudged a little bit, but I was too in the zone to try and fix it at that point. So now I'm just repainting the eyes and adding a beauty mark. And I believe that's all I did. Yeah, pretty sure that's all I did. <laughs> I'm probably going to go back and repaint some of the accessories and stuff as well. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know. So... Yep, that's just me mixing paint and drying it off. Again, I use a Mod Podge and water to thin it out so it's not so clumpy when it goes on the doll. So I don't have to go back and remove it and try again as often. Just because I'm a perfectionist and I like being able to get things in the first try. And this is me just checking the camera to see which side my beauty mark is on because I'm directionally challenged. And here is the finished doll! So that is it. I hope you guys like this repaint video. Sorry I didn't upload it last week. I was actually at Disneyland and that video will be coming out later this weekend as well. So look forward to that as well as more updates on these dolls and the closet I'm making and all of the various craft projects I'm doing lately. So peace and kisses. TGFN. Ta-ta for now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!